This is a typical example of uh, why Firebox have chosen uh, to make cabinets in polycarbonate. This is a metal cabinet and after a year or two it will look like this. Uh, rusty, ugly, not working anymore, the hinges is falling off. Roughly 20% of all the cabinets in the world is placed in the wrong environment or you use the wrong material to that environment it is in. Another uh, material that is often used in, uh, in outdoor environments is polyester. Polyester is, yes, corrosion free as Firebox polycarbonate, but after some times uh, the product is blooming up. If you don't paint it, if you don't maintain it, if you don't clean it very often, uh, it's the same as a boat. When you don't do anything with the boat, and, and rise it up and, and, and paint it, it will sink. So still, if it's corrosion free, you still have to maintain it. You still lot. have to maintain the surface. Otherwise it will open up the fibers and eventually water will come in and the electronics is damaged. When you buy it, it looks like this. Nice surface, everything is fine. But after some years, you can see here, it has been exposed from standard outside European weather, not harsh and demanding, but still standard. And you can, you can feel that it is open up the pores. Mm -hmm. And then eventually when everything opens up, water comes in and it is not uh, protected anymore. Mm -hmm. If it is really thick, it can survive years, but it is still mm -hmm. uh, not good. And if it is uh, thinner walls, then uh, the water will come in uh, very, very fast. Okay, but it is thick and it takes place and so it I means mean, that it you... I mean, it will not uh, destroy tomorrow, but it will destroy eventually. Right. And you have to change it. Right, and also the and thick, it's, if it's thicker, so you can place more, less components in there. Exactly. And yeah. It's also a bad solution and it is also used very, very often, unfortunately, because the installers or the contractors don't have that alternative they have today with Firebox polycarbonate. So here we can see the Firebox Arca, which Mr. Schulz will tell us a little bit more about its features. We are at Firebox stand at Energetab, and this is better and the best solutions that we can see from the two solutions that we saw before. We have invented Arca uh, years ago because we had the knowledge about the material. We are working with uh, something called F1 polycarbonate, which is the highest class for outdoor use, uh, UV protection, and we realized that there are so many things uh, going on on the market. There are so many uh, other materials being installed outside that is not suitable for this, uh, for this uh, outside uh, environment. We were making smaller boxes. Same material, same high class, same UV protected, but we saw a big market into the cabinet business uh, to use the same high class material uh, for that application as well. From smaller boxes up to bigger cabinets. And Arca exists up to 800 times 600 millimeters. There's a lot of features in that, uh, in that cabinet. First of all, it's uh, IP66, which means more or less waterproof. It's IK10, that means that it is crash tested, uh, you can almost drive into it, and it has a lot of uh, small features. When water is raining down, it normally stands uh, on the gasket, and then the gasket is getting softer and softer, but as you can see here, it is declined, it is going a little bit downwards. Mm -hmm. So when the water is coming in here, it rains okay. out mm -hmm. and falls down here, so the gasket is protected. If you take a, a metal enclosure, you will not see this, this rip here. That means that this gasket is, uh, is glued on right. and eventually the gluing will fade away and then the gasket will fall off. Here it's always protected on the same position every time. So it goes here, so it's, it's IP66 today, but it is also IP66 tomorrow. To make it stronger, we have made rips like that, mm -hmm. so it's 
It's very, very solid. You can also see that the corners here, and the corners, they are, for, if you want to build it up on the wall, like this, the screws is on the outside of the gasket. Mm -hmm. So if you, if you do something wrong, it will still be IP66 inside. Okay, even the installation, it was not properly made, the, all the The cabinet is... protects itself. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and uh, then we have a lot of accessory features and I can go into them if you want that as well. Sure, yeah. First of all, if you want to use it for a DIN rail application, you buy a DIN rail set, it looks like this. You can adjust the depths just by taking these off and putting them in, in the different height. You can also uh, make all your wiring before you build it into the cabinet so you have more space here to make your components. The only thing you need to do when you're finished is that you slide it down and it's finished. And then you put a cover on. Okay. If you do that in other uh, cabinets on the market, you have to build it up from the bottom inside here. So how, now you have more flexibility and more space to do it. Another feature is if you want to have push buttons or a monitor, you can choose to have an inner door. This is made from aluminium, corrosion-free aluminium, to make it uh, easier to drill holes. And the frame is stainless steel, also corrosion-free. Mm -hmm. Again, you drill your holes or you put the monitor in. Afterwards, you just put it in, click, one second, and you have an inner door in. If you want to change the door, you can just put out, pull out the pin, and you can move the door to the other side, and you can put the pin in again. Or from the top, or from the bottom. <laughs> or from the top, or from the bottom, yeah. This is a little door guide. And in all the cabinets on the market, uh, and uh, in your home as well, the doors is going slowly down after 10, 15, 20 years because the hinges is getting weaker. Yes. So we have invented a door guide that always lift it up, or a door lifter always lift it up in the right position again. So this gasket is always in the right position, high IP. And what about the locking mechanism? The locking me mechanism is a standard double bar lock, a standard, but we could, you can choose whatever you want uh, you just have to take this lock off uh, with a screw and replace it with key locks, with uh, system locks, mm -hmm. with whatever locks you want. Mr. Schultz, you have been working on the Arca since the beginning. I have been, uh, I started the project, yes. Um, it, uh, it started with, uh, uh, I was looking around in the water and waste environment and I saw a lot of uh, metal that was rusty and there was only uh, one solution at that time, and that was stainless steel. But the prices of stainless steel is very, very, very high. So a lot of our uh, uh, customers was using the standard metal, well knowing that it was not the best solution, mm -hmm. but they didn't have any alternative. Right. So I went back to the R&D department in, in Feebox and to our owner and said, we have a few, huge market for this. Uh, let's try to use our standard fantastic material into making bigger cabinets. Were there some any issues with the in the research and development? Actually, that is the funny part, because we made a 3D uh, uh, model, and I went out and talked to 119 uh, customers uh, in in Europe uh, with our salespeople, and. Uh, all the things we have invented, all the things we talked about was just accepted. So we haven't actually not made a single change since we started the project. Because it's that good. Because it was pretty good from the beginning, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And we also uh, bought a lot of competitors, of course, and tried to uh, install it, tried to build it up, tried to hang it on the wall. And we realized that there are so many features that was not fast enough we want to have make difficult easy. We have chosen this uh, solution instead of 
the normal solutions you find on the market. And the polycarbonate that uh, Feebox is making is not only for the Arca. I know that you have all other uh, enclosure solutions. Feebox is only working with the same F1 UV stabilized uh, high quality material, a blend, our own blend, uh, that protects uh, everything you want to have in it. From the smaller boxes, everything we have, up to the bigger arcas. Mm -hmm. Mr. Schutz, thank you very much for introducing us to the whole world, Fibox Arca. Um, it is my delight. We can turn it around so it's this Arca right. All right. <laughs> right. Thank you very much. Welcome.